yeah hello all welcome back so in the previous session we have gone through some of the controls in automatic credit check right yeah so now in this session we will go through some other controls in the automatic credit check okay, okay. so now let me go through spro and here sales and distribution and here basic functions here credit management and risk management and here we have to go through define automatic credit control so now let us go through our credit control area and see here in the previous session we have covered till the document value right so yeah. now, let me go through the next field here what is this critical fields right okay so in this session we will cover the critical fields so as you know here what is this reaction right so what will happen if you put the reaction as warning tell me what will happen if you put the reaction as warning then the system will give the warning message when the credit limit of the customer got exceeded okay okay so now let me check this one also hmm. and let me save it okay okay so before showing the uh, showing the critical fields configuration in sap i just would like to tell you what exactly the critical fields are and what will happen if you check the critical fields in the automatic credit check okay so if you check this then while creating the sales order if user changes means if user changes any of the critical fields then the system will block the order for credit okay even though if the customer is having enough credit balance so now let me take one small example if our customer is 6684 okay and the customer is having 20000 as the credit limit okay and if you check credit means a critical fields here so if the user is creating one sales order in va01 and if they change any of the critical fields okay then what will happen the sales order will block for the credit so now here let me tell you what exactly are the critical fields what are the critical fields in sap they are payment payment terms then additional value days then what is that fixed value date okay so in the interviews also you can get the question that what are the critical fields in sap especially in credit management those are nothing but terms of payment are also called it as payment terms in the same way additional value days then fixed value date okay so 
if customer means if the user make any changes to these fields and if you check the critical fields here mm. then the system will block the order for credit mm. okay so now let me create one sales order so i use the transaction VA01 to create the sales order. And now let me check the credit limit of the customer. So this is the customer I would like to use and the customer's credit limit is 20,000. Okay. So now let me create the sales order here. Let me give the customer here and let me give the material here see here uh, I'm getting one error related to the pricing so now let me maintain the prices so now let me maintain some prices for the materials Okay, so I have maintained the prices for these three materials. So now let me create one sales order. Okay. So the customer's credit limit is 20,000, right? Yeah. So here, so here I have created the order for only 1,000. Okay? Yeah, okay. And here the payment terms of M001. So this is one of the critical fields. So I have changed it to triple zero one. Okay. So now I am saving it. So if you make changes to any of the critical fields, then what will happen? Even if the customer is having enough credit value, means enough credit limit, the system will block it for credit. See here, what is the warning the system is displaying? Critical credit data changed. Okay, so it means the critical fields, whatever you have given there, that value is getting changed here. So that is the reason the system is blocking the order for credit. Okay. Okay, see here, I just have given warning here. If we give error, then the system will give error message. Okay. See, now let me go through sales and distribution, basic functions, and here credit management and risk management. So here it is, automatic credit check. And see here it is A, right? So now okay. let me give it as B. B means error message. Okay. Okay. So now, see now I would like to change the payment terms. So here, if we save, what is the system uh, means? What is the message the system is displaying? An error message that critical credit data is changed. So if it is the warning message, then you can able to save the document. But if it is the error message, then the system will not allow you to save the document. Yeah. Okay. So okay. what are the other two critical fields? Additional value days and fixed value date. Okay. So, where can you see additional value days and fixed value date? Here in the yeah, tell, tell me. Additional values and hmm? 
it is in the billing document tab here okay see this is the payment terms right Okay, okay. Okay. This is the payment terms and this is the fixed value date and this is what is the additional value date. Okay. okay. So if the fixed value date is for example 9, if you make the changes because previously it was blank and if you have made the changes to it as the current date, then also the system will block it. In the same way, which will be applicable for additional value days also. Okay. Okay. So now I think you are clear with the critical fields concept. So here, what is the next one? Next review date. date. Let me tell you what exactly the next review date is. So this is what is the next next review date. Okay, okay. This is what is the next review date. See, here here I have mentioned next review. Review means review so yeah, okay. again they will check so next review means what is the next date means next uh, means next review means when the review is going to be happen next time to recheck to recheck okay so here if you check next review date then while creating the sales order, if the sales order date exceeds the next review date, then the system will block the order for credit. Okay, did you get me? Yeah, continue. If the review date is, for example, if the next review date is one day, for example, number of days is one day. Okay, so today is 9th, right? And the next review day uh, falls in one day, means on 10th. Okay? And if the sales order creation date exceeds the review date, then in this case, the system will block the order for credit. Okay. Okay, so if you would like to check it, then you have to give the number of days as 1 and you try to create the order on when? Tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Okay? Okay. But before creation of that, you have to maintain the next review date, right? Yes, yes. So where you can maintain the next review date for the customers? In FD32. So if you open the transaction thirty-two, and here, yeah, where can you maintain this? Okay. So here you have to give the next review. So next review falls on, for example, I am giving the old date, means uh, yesterday's date. Okay. Okay. So if you create the sales order now, then what will happen? The system will block the order for today, right? So now let me give this one. Okay. So now let me make some changes also here. Let me see 
when is the next review date here see let me okay so i have given the few over this past date as the next review date so if you create the sales order now then what will happen even if the customer is having enough credit what is that the system is showing before entering the material it is showing the credit check next to customer check date has passed it's passed okay so periodically the customers credit uh, miss credit, credit limits will get checked by the financial team especially the other adjacent team they will check all these things okay okay so if they not other adjacent team the credit team that means uh, the team which is responsible for the credit limits and all these things okay so periodically they will check and if customer credit check is on tomorrow mm -hmm. so you cannot able to create the order on after tomorrow means if it if the customer creation of the order which falls after the credit check date then the system will not allow us to create the sales order okay okay so here you can able to maintain the number of days number of days here is nothing but the grace period so are you clear with it Yeah okay then thank you and if you have any queries in this regard you can ask me now okay so here once again i am telling that this is the most important question you can find it in the interviews they may ask you what exactly are the critical fields in sap which are especially in credit management okay. if you make the changes to them even if the customer is having the enough credit limit the system will block you to create the sales order those are nothing but what are them payment terms payment terms additional value days and fixed value date okay okay don't forget this Yo, okay, then thank you. Bye.